two, one. Happy New Year! <laughs> Thanks for coming out. Thanks for coming out. Hey, bad friends, did you like seeing me kiss that sweet little Asian girl on New Year's Eve? Well, if you want to celebrate New Year's Eve and New Year's Eve Eve with me, either of those dates, I'm doing four shows, two nights at the Wilbur Theater in Boston. Go to andrewsantino.com for those tickets. andrewsantino.com, Boston, show up, show out, New Year's Eve and New Year's Eve Eve. Also, uh, not officially a part of the Bad Friends Tour, but Bobby and I are going to be in Vancouver for Just for Laughs on February 16th. Uh, Then we're going to be in Spokane, for Bad Friends on the 17th, and Seattle, Washington, for Bad Friends on the 18th. Those links are going to be in the description down below to buy those tickets to come see the Bad Friends beginning of the official tour that starts a month later. You two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? A white dude and an Asian dude. You two are disgusting. Oh, you two are something. We're bad friends. Here comes on a call, here comes on crawl, here comes some crawl away. Bum 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 Here comes a crawl, here comes. No slay rickshaw. You know, yeah. And we also have dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. Dreidel for the Jew. I made you out of clay. Wait, is it dreidel for Jew? When you're dry and ready, I just found <laughs> out I'm gay. <laughs> There he is. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Boys and boys girls. Boys and girls. Have you been good this year? I don't know, but you get one anyway. Well, Asian Santa. <laughs> Hello. We brought Christmas. someone from your workshop. It's <laughs> oh, no, Brad no, 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 Let me into the room. Let me into the room. Right. Let me into the room. Right. <laughs> Go ahead. Every year, you know, I get elves all the time. Sometimes when they don't do a job good, I kill them. Oh, you kill the elves that do a bad job. I drown them in ice water. <laughs> you know, there's a lake by the, you know. Why ice water? Did they, did they... It was an icy lake. Oh, an icy lake. <laughs> I get it's it. It's icy lake. Icy, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know how you fish? You dig a hole? I do. Ice fish. Yeah, I put an uh, elephant in there. Oh, you yeah. put one of your helpers inside it's, it. Yeah. Uh-huh. They go, stop, stop. If I don't like it. You know? Right. I go, die, die, whatever. You right, know? But right. But this one right here, Yeah. he's been with me for 89 years. <laughs> one of the good ones. He is so fast. Very good. <laughs> in my mind, I thought he Asian. <laughs> Oh, you thought he was Asian? Oh, you're not. Why? You're white. Why would you think he's Asian? Because he works so hard. Not because of his height. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, that too. Because he's similar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Asian that height. Too, that too, that too. Anyway, my favorite elf in the workshop is Brad Williams. Brad yeah, Williams. <laughs> oh, he's scared of Santa. Yeah, fuck you. You don't get ice water. Yeah, yeah, sit down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I sit? Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so so here's I guess Asian Santa. He, he's... <laughs> can can I speak? It's, yeah, a, yeah, it's oh, okay. okay. I guess this is big, Asian Santa's favorite My favorite, favorite helper. One, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how do you feel about Asian Santa? Do you get along with him? Oh, his dick is so big. It's so <laughs> oh, big. Thank you, thank you. And, 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 and he's such a and he's such a vigorous lover and 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 such a generous leader yeah. and, and, oh, yeah. and, 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 and can i say what well, yeah. i'll tell you what we he's eat. being facetious by the way do you know what that means asian santa i don't know he, <laughs> if, oh, it, if, i know confucius well, confucius say facetious it, it, is it confucius yeah confucius yeah, yeah, say yeah, yeah, facetious. i know that one he's facetiousness means he's 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 when he talks about your big penis on the he's uh. kidding and what do I feed you at night, what, on Christmas Eve? Oh, the best, the, the best food. The, the I, best I, food. Reindeer sashimi. Wow. <laughs> reindeer sashimi. Yeah, the underbelly of reindeer. Fatty, fatty, fatty reindeer. Fatty tissue. Very oh, tender. So tender. Very tender. Is it yeah. reindeer toro? Yeah, but not Rudolph because, you know, he's the leader. You know, I, I can't see without him. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? He got the red nose. How do you see in the night so well? Oh, the root of my eyes. As you're dashing through the my snow. Eye? Because of my eyes? Well, what? You know, the, let me tell you something. You know there's more than one Santa. I only do Asia. Oh, you're just for Asia. <laughs> yeah, you know that, right? No. I can't go to Cleveland. 
<laughs> Imagine me coming down Korea chimney. They freak out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But in, you know, Shanghai. What do they leave you? Oh, they leave me dumplings. <laughs> uh, oh, I know almond cookie. I love the almond cookie. You Pork like bao. It. Pork bao is yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pork bao is good. So you have you ever been to the United States and delivered gifts? No, never, never. One time, you know, Santa called me. The real Santa. The real Santa? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, that's guy. what we all... Because the African Santa and I... Oh, you get along. Oh, the African Santa, yeah. So you commiserate with other minority Santas. Let me Santas. say, a, a African Santa? <laughs> let me tell you about African Santa. Tell me. He only has to do three houses. You know why? <laughs> why? <laughs> <laughs> They're all bad kids. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> That's African Santa right there. Yeah, that's African Santa. Yeah, so he only has to do three houses. Now, do you visit the Philippines? <laughs> Where is that? <laughs> oh, we d- no. No. No, because it's no. like, I'll tell you why. Tell me. You know, I'm on the mainland. Correct. In Asia, right? <laughs> yeah. And at five in the morning, you know, my last house is probably, you know, Vietnam somewhere. You know, Laos. Saigon or something, yeah, you know. right. And I'm tired. You know, they don't get much anyway, you know? So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's like, I go, do I go to home? North Pole? No, so, oh, I go to East Pole. East Pole. Yeah, yeah we live in East Pole. Yeah. Do you go, do I go, <laughs> yeah. do you go do to I go East home Pole? back to East Pole? Right. Or do I go all the way to a little island where they don't give a fuck about nobody? You know, okay. so I don't go. Have you ever gotten Christmas presents, Rudy Jules? From Asian Santa? Yeah. No. no. <laughs> See? Yeah, you don't. No, you do were you, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad, yeah. I remember you. Yeah, we're not giving it to her. Ever, ever. No, yeah, 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 yeah. I can no. be your helper. I can clean. Ah, <laughs> well, she could clean. <laughs> I mean, okay. Is the accent is it too much? Yeah, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> Let's it's keep it going. I was going like to talk it. about how you can't go to North Korea. <laughs> oh, no, he, he oh, delivers yeah, yeah. there. He delivers there. Oh, I can deliver there. Yeah. Uh, welcome Brad Williams to the podcast Brad, and Brad, happy holidays. Thank you. I think I think it's now an authentic holiday episode. Yeah, with you. Yeah, yeah with you. Yeah. yeah, with you. It, it, just, is. It, it just looks right now. Have you ever met Rudy Jules? Have you guys met before? No, no not not in person. But uh, let me ask you. I, I, I've only slid into her DMs a couple of times. Oh my, oh my God, that's yes. weird. Yes. Brad, Jules, Rudy, Jules, are there dwarves from your land? Yeah. Where? Name me one. I don't know them, but I've seen them. Where? Like when I ride, um, like jeepney, and they're just like, they're just like. In What's the a jeepney? Sh- like a jeep, like where like you commute. Oh, it's and- like a safari. <laughs> no, oh, no, no, no. There's a jeepney. dwarf. There's a dwarf safari. <laughs> no, it's what? like you get a jeep. <laughs> it's like- like- <laughs> yeah, you know, we're just out in the tundra, you know, running no. around. They yeah, go spear like fishing that. for dwarves. Oh wait, so what? In the jeepney. Okay, so when I ride that, like outside. <laughs> All right, that's a hippie's bus from Berkeley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not it. But wait a minute. You ride around in this looking for little no, people. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> Do you have a net? When you, when you find them. Like, you know how when you throw, a, you have to hit a fish in water, you have to aim below it. Mm-hmm. Do you have to? How low do you have to aim to hit little people that you're trying to kill on the street? I the, mean, this is insane. You do this. They have one of those scoopers, like those carts have at the golf driving range. Ooh. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. Just rolls us up. Yeah, 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 just rolls so you're us just up. collecting little people. Yeah, you're, yeah. That's nuts. It's a Filipino tradition. I'm into it. That's why <laughs> oh, wait, I've never no, been there. Do they drive the thing? No, like sometimes I, like I usually. Um, drive that and then um sometimes i just see them like in the streets like sitting and then just walking around how do you know they're not kids <laughs> yeah how do you know yeah how do you know i don't know do you check because... for pubic hair how do yeah, you know? yeah how do you know is it kids or maybe you're seeing like a thicker kid because like Be- filipinos right. general not that tall Be- right exactly mm. well, you and, and you have a half asian wife i do well no your wife is asian you have a half yes. asian baby Yes, so, I think your wife is not uh, full she, Asian. She she's half she's half Chinese, so we have a quarter a quarter Chinese. But your baby. wife's half Chinese and half what? Uh, we don't know. Oh wow, the mystery. Yeah, yeah that's, that's like Bobby. We don't know. Yeah. So your baby is what now? Uh, home. I know, but <laughs> she's a quarter. She's a quarter Chinese. Chinese. Yeah, quarter Chinese, and then and uh, then fifty percent white. Probably fifty percent white. Probably more than that. No, it's the twenty five percent of the dwarf part. He's native. <laughs> oh, he is. Oh yes. my part. Uh, I'm uh, from uh, America. We don't have our own land. That's right. He's native. Oh yeah. my bad. I mean, we have our own park in China, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> What's that? Ah, oh, thank you. Gave Brad an apple. There box. we oh, go. That's cool. That's cool. Now I could, you know. Do you feel better that way or no? Yeah, it puts my back in alignment. Well, because those great. stair, the, those seats are so. I, the fact that we got these seats for them is so mean <laughs> for our guests. Yeah. Because they're they're not good for anybody. That's true. But are they fun? 
to look at. They're fun to look at. You better believe it. Can, can I just say something? You're probably so fo- hard hard to follow on stand up. Oh, so I thought you meant oh. like in the street. I yeah. Was like, oh, <laughs> that's easy. Yeah. Small steps. That's easy. Yeah, I know. Oh, I yeah, can yeah, duck yeah. behind things. It's very hard to follow. Uh, you, well, you're hard. You know what? You're hard to find, not to follow. Yes. yes. I got you once I got you. Yeah. 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 I kind of stand out. But, but yeah. before that, sneaky. Sneaky. <laughs> oh, they're sneaky people. So wait a minute. You're oh, saying. I'm, I'm feeling I'm being canceled. No, not at sneaky people, but he's sneaky. <laughs> why are you being Why are you being canceled? Well, I don't want to, like, you know. Anyway. Joke anyway. about one of our friends. It's all right. It takes a long time for a dwarf to write a letter. You're fine. <laughs> A small hand. Oh, yeah, yeah, small yeah. hand. I didn't know. I to write. Have you seen, have <laughs> yeah, you ever yeah. seen him uh, on his computer? Oh. <laughs> I, All right, right. I got to run over, jump on the A, <laughs> run over, jump on the L. All right, yeah, it's yeah. A lo- it's a whole ordeal. And imagine, we don't like to write letters. The moment he makes a mistake, he's like, yeah. ah, delete is so far away. <laughs> so far away. And it's a bigger key. I got to right. get another friend to hop on it with me. <laughs> right. I'm Just not get that an heavy. assistant, maybe. Yeah. What, do you, what do you mean Brad's hard to follow? He's a great comic. Is that great, what you're saying? Is that what you're trying comic. to say? Very good stand-up. He's a great comic. Thank you, Bobby. And you have a Appreciate residency that. in Vegas? Is that what it is? I had one, yeah. What uh, happened to it? Uh, 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 my contract ran up. Give me the show up the show. What's it called again? It's called Mad Apple. I was in Mad Apple, uh, the Cirque du Soleil show in Las Vegas. I How helped cool. watch it. Yeah, it was a blast. I went on after the guys that juggle each other with their feet. Wow. <laughs> Look at that thing. Yeah. And you did that? How many shows a week? Uh, Ten. Ten shows Ten a, a week. week. Yeah. Oh my god! Two, two, two shows a night. Monday, uh, Wednesday, Monday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Thursday, Friday. We had, we had Wednesday, Thursday off. That was our weekends. Wow. Then, yeah. It was it, it, it was a blast. I did it for like I said, like four months, and it, it was wonderful. I I like being in a Cirque du Soleil show. I worked ten minutes each show. Amazing. Right. Right. It was great. And you don't want to do another run or no? Uh, the answer to every question is always money. Yeah. Uh, How yeah. much? Yeah. That's what he responds. How yeah. much? Yeah, 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 yeah. And they didn't pay you enough. Uh, they did it first, and then we started seeing my stock kind of rise and things like that. So we're like, all right, now if you want to do it again, you gotta, you gotta pay me more. And, and they're, they're like, no. There yeah. he is. Yeah. Is that that's you? Pre- that's you presenting? Yeah. Oh, that that was me at the launch. That fo- that fo- there's me on stage. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. It, 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 but but it was a blast. They're an amazing company to work for. I got free physical therapy. Which so you, great. you you went there and did what do you do when you open up the show? You do like fifteen minutes up top. <laughs> ten minutes. You do ten minutes of stand up. Oh, so yeah. physical therapy. How long for? I mean, not probably not that long. <laughs> I mean, probably like beep, and then it's done. They go. They wait. press on the spine. Beep with the <laughs> finger, and then I got you, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm good. Sciatica done. Free physical therapy. Is yeah. I'm only like an inch taller than them. I don't know why I'm making these jokes. I know. It's, yeah, it's, it's so nice. fucking silly. That's why you're making the jokes because yeah, yeah, you're yeah. like, ah, oh, ego boost. Brad's here. Yeah, I can yeah, finally, I can finally yeah. get these jokes out. You think you can beat me up? Oh yeah, big time. Yeah, you always say that. My money is on Brad. Like with, I mean, without but a, in a what shadow of a doubt. What in any fighting or pretty well, like, much? Yeah, like I wrestled in high school. So okay, me too. So did he? Oh, he did. Yeah. 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 Ooh, okay, yeah, that'd be fun. Okay, but yeah. like, but like, how, how old are you now, Bobby? Fifty-one. Fifty-one. Yeah. What are you? Thirty-eight. Mm, but that's like fifty-one and dwarf. Oh, yeah, that's that is. oh yeah, 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 it is. Yeah, so yeah, we're yeah. about the same. We're about the same. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a good tale to say. It's a good, t- yeah, yeah. That'd be fun. He's got the reach advantage. Boxing, he could probably beat me. I don't know. Taekwondo, definitely. That's a leg martial art. <laughs> leg is definitely. <laughs> yeah, leg will fuck. But you when up. it comes to grappling, ooh, like UFC yeah. rules, maybe if you can yeah, get a hold of. Yeah, him. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because he gets he's got the holds down. Yeah, dude. I'm pretty good though. Dude. How do you think he fucking made a baby with his wife? That's all holds. That was all holds. <laughs> and she's tall, right? How old is she? Tall is she? Six uh, four. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to me, no, she's like uh, five eight, right? Yeah, five, and eight. how tall are you? Uh, four foot four. So yeah, wow. E- everyone when they see us together is like, "Fuck, that dude must be rich." Yeah, like and they yeah. little you know, do they know. Can yeah, I, I know? Just your dick. Can I say something to you? Yeah, it's all dick. It, doesn't it infuriate you because when I used to date, I used to date taller women, and oh, people sure. always make remarks. Yeah, doesn't it ma- make you angry? Somehow, I don't think they make remarks to him the way they do to you. <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> well, because I have like a whole, I have like I have a condition. You're just small. No, no, he has a condition. <laughs> that that hurt, but let's that hurt, but let, I'll let that slide. Right for him, <laughs> yeah. It's it's like recognized by the government and our and our society. With yeah. you, it's just unfortunate. <laughs> right, but can I ask you this? Which sucks because there's nothing we can do about it. It's not. It's not like we're doing something to be our height. Yeah, but you use yours to your advantage to build character Mm -hmm. Bobby's Mm. doesn't really there's no plus oh (laughs) there's nothing that's good for it's all minus it's all minus minus. he doesn't have an organization he can join like I can go to meetings right yeah yeah yeah. could I go to your meetings (laughs) I'll tell you 
five, five, four. Five, mm. five, three. Five, no. five, three. Five, five three, three, five, four in the good day. Is no. what we yeah, said. Yeah, no, yeah. too tall. We wouldn't well, well, What's the height then limit? Five? Lie. Yeah. Five, five is a lie. <laughs> five, five? Google it. Five, four, five. Four, four, ten. Four, ten is the limit. Are you being real? Yeah. That's you know, the legal limit. Yeah. I, if you're four ten or below, you are legally considered what if uh, a dwarf, handicapped. What if a dwarf had um, yeah. gigantism? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That's insane. So if you, a, know, if, if a dwarf had gigantism, would he be like? Be. He would be five four. <laughs> there got to be there. There yeah. now. There are now. <laughs> there, no, Adam Rayner was a dwarf and a giant at the exact same <laughs> exactly. time. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Bobby was right. I was right. What? Which one? Oh my God! He's eight. <laughs> What? No, that's no. not the That's him standing on someone's shoulders. <laughs> yeah, Go yeah. back to all and let's see. Yeah. Go back to the actual post. Click on the post itself, Adam Rayner. The insane story of a man who was born a dwarf and died a giant. Wow. Wow. So obviously what happened was he was born a dwarf and then the pituitary gland uh, right, overflowed. Isn't that what happens, right? When you become a giant mm-hmm. giant you're yeah. it's a it's a giant uh giant gigantism is yeah, usually like a, a cyst on your pituitary, which means you grow it's it's throwing all of this Andre the Giant had it, the rest of the big show. Right. Had, but it's great it. in a circus because you can reinvent yourself. <laughs> right? You're a dwarf in the he circus and they're like, Oh, we've seen it and all of a sudden the next day it's like, Oh, this is a new thing. Oh, look at the tits on her. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's great. That is actually really that's a, well, God bless Adam Rayner. Yeah. Oh, look at that. He, f- look at that. Over the next decade, he grew from just under 4'10", have to be, yeah. to a shocking 7'1". During this period, Rainer also began developing a severe spinal contusion. Contusion. What is that? Curvature. Curvature. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, it's natural. You go from 4'10 to 7'1 in a year. Right. That's three feet. I imagine <sighs> that didn't feel too good. That's nuts to Good think God, about. man. Oh, God's crazy. But imagine... <laughs> Mad scientist. When he was a dwarf, yes, he had a big pipe, and he thought, "Look at me." Yeah. Then at seven one, not so big anymore. <laughs> See, it? it's uh, all about it's all about perspective. That's right. People ask me all the time, they're like, "Oh, Brad, dwarves do they have big dicks?" I go, no, but on but on me, it looks fucking huge. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, I've seen Brad lean forward with no hands, yeah. like a kickstand. Yeah, I've seen him do it. <laughs> I can't fall over. <laughs> it's nuts. It's nuts. We both wobble, but they don't fall down. Can I, can I make another observation? Man, I, I feel like I'm not an uppity Asian. Like, there's there's comics, right, that are Who's like... Who's an uppity Asian? I don't want to name <laughs> Name them. names. Uh, no, we don't. Well, you know, he's a talented guy, and I like him, right? But Ronnie Chang. You think he's an uppity Asian? I, to me, mm. in, my, in my circle of, you mean, what dirty saying, Asians. You mean he's very judgy of people like no, you? No, no, I just think he's elevated. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, you okay. can't, like, go up to him and do an accent or whatever. Right, right, right. Right, but I feel like Peter Dinklage is umpity, right? And you're, you're like, more like me. <laughs> like, we can take jokes and stuff is what I'm saying. This is interesting. You think Dinky would be a... <laughs> dinky. <laughs> Why? That's yeah, a horrible dinky. That's a horrible I was trying to him. give him a nickname and it just <laughs> came out. <laughs> came out. Very condescending. You think little Dinkler? <laughs> you think Dinklage would be an uppity uh, dwarf? Like, if Brad made a joke... Because here's the deal. Yeah, Brad, one one of our our long, 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 long buddies, he's able to make great jokes about himself, take the piss of himself, as we say, to kind of like lighten the load of the world. Right. Yeah. And obviously wants to be treated with respect, but give Brad, me another apple box. Yes. But the guy's got a great sense of humor about it. But do you think? Right. That's a valid question. Do you think Dinklage? Like, you well, imagine. Okay, look. Yeah. You're on the set of a movie. Yeah. You go up to Peter. Yeah. And you're like, hey man, great to meet. You. He's like, hey, and you throw out. A classic Brad joke. Yeah, right? yeah. You know, you've got him fucking in the chamber. I know you, you do. Mm-hmm. And he looks at you and is like, "I don't really fuck with that shit." Do you think that would be him, or do you think he'd laugh along and make a joke with you? I think he. I think that might be him because he's the guy that when he hosted Saturday Night Live, he told the writers no dwarf jokes in the entire show. So right. none of the sketches have anything to do with him being a little person. It's never referenced. Wow. And yeah. you, if yeah. you went, if you got to host us, oh, fire away. Yeah. <laughs> oh, people, the cast members would have a cannon. They yeah. would lean on them. They'd, they'd use yeah. them as a fucking. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> they, don't, they don't give a fuck. This I, guy, this I would the best. play the part. This becomes a yeah. cane. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would play the part of Pete Davidson's dick. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. That yeah, would be yeah. my part on SNL. See, yeah. but that's uh, look. I I think I understand his prerogative, but like sure. I get. The perspective of shitting on ourselves it's way more fun it's way more fun it's and more that fun. In, in in that in kind of like what you said it, it it takes the bullets out of the other person's gun because you're 100%. like oh now now you can't make fun of me for this because i'm already doing it right so i like doing it but obviously i'm i'm not one to tell peter that he's doing it wrong he's amazingly successful and talented yeah he knows what he's doing that's one of the reasons and why yet, i hate him and yet <laughs> he's not on bad friends and also and yet he did that gary oldman movie Oh, yes. you mean the most offensive movie ever yeah, made? Yeah, yeah, he did tip-toes. the most tiptoes. I can break he down this movie. He was on in the most hours. offensive movie yeah. ever made. 
You would have done that movie. Oh, where, dude! Everyone where, look at the trailer tiptoes. Get where Gary we, Oldman did short leg. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. We've shown it on this show. Yeah, we have shown because it because we know yeah, how much yeah, you love tiptoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's in fact the one of the worst. searches, the top searches tiptoes movie clip from our show. Yeah, <laughs> it is. This Don't is show the, it. Yeah, we got to show it. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, look, go, look, go back to the search real fast for like fun. Like two right Academy there. Award winners. Yeah, there. Yeah, there's Andrew. <laughs> yeah, just. Re- Andrew Santino rips tip <laughs> says Gary Oldman can't act his way out of a paper bag. Guy can't act. <laughs> did you see the movie? I did. I, I I watched it and reviewed it for... They have to. It's a part another, of their... Yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. Hey, never find yourself in this scenario. That is, that is why we watched the 100%. movie. 100%. Wow. That's teaching a lesson. It's the worst fucking movie ever. It, but like, there's so much shit I could break down about that movie that's just like... like The way some people watch The Godfather... I watch Tiptoes for the exact opposite reason. <laughs> wow. Right? To yeah. just break it down. It's in a case study. Of, yeah. What Act- is the most offensive thing about the movie? Oh, the, well, I mean. <laughs> aside from the Gary Oldman yeah, thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gar- uh, Gary Oldman being on his knees and his arms, uh, like, and his shoulders pinned back so his, ar- so his arms are smaller. That's pretty fucking wrong. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but then, what was the other one? Um, they, they, went to a, they, <laughs> they went to an all-dwarf party. Oh right! During that one, oh that, right, right. That one was that's where Peter Dinklage was, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, all right, in the world, of... Peter Dinklage's accent was very offensive because he was like saying it was like like he he said something that and then his accent wasn't consistent the entire time. Well, that's time. a pretty good dwarf dance. <laughs> <laughs> that's McConaughey. He's not a oh, dwarf. That, oh, I'm sorry, my bad. <laughs> oh, that's McConaughey. My bad. In the There's w- multiple Oscar winners in this movie. In that's the, the crazy. In the world, part. in the world of. Let's not prop tiptoes up anymore. Yeah. yeah. In the world of wokeness. But it's available on Amazon Prime <laughs> if you want to see the worst movie ever. It's available in for the streaming world of on wokeness and equality. Yeah. Do you think there should be an all dwarf movie? I mean, or show or TV show? Show, yeah. I, I'm actually, I'm pitching one of those right now. And no, and no tallies. I mean, they're going to be the victims. There it is. Ah. Yeah. Victims of what? Like murder? <laughs> yeah, it's an all dwarf murder show. It's a dwarf murder That'd be show? fun. <laughs> yeah. We're, 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 you know, murder podcasts are real big. So we're trying to do like, all right, but there needs to be a dwarf ser- dwarf serial killer. Has there, what, has there ever been one? I mean, maybe not killer, but definitely like uh, ACL terror or something like that. Cayeto Santos joke. Corino. <laughs> No, what? Also known, oh, I one guy. Uh, also known as Epicito Orejudo, the big eared <laughs> midget, was an Argentinian serial killer who terrorized wait, wait, wait. El Petiso it, Orejudo. Say it again. Say it, say it how you're supposed to say it. El Petiso Orejudo. El Petiso Orejudo. <laughs> The big eared midget was an Argentinian serial killer. Don't who, say that again. There's no I'm way. I'm reading Wikipedia. I know, but there's now, no way to say that without laughing. Now I know. Now, That's his name. Dude. Now I know how I will identify bad friends fans in the audiences of my stand-up Because they're going to call you. Yeah. Yeah. Petiso. Petiso de Julo. There he is, dude. it out. So this guy was a serial killer in Argentina when he was 16 years old. Wow. wow. Go to his Wikipedia. Let's find out how he died. I want I want to see how he was like I wish he would have been a boxer and that's how he would have been announced or like <laughs> you know like a UFC fighter El Petiso Jorge Judo That's great Where and how and he died from what who killed him Someone finally got him back. A curb, it was too high. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody bumped into him. Fell. All right, so go on that. Go zoom into. Go zoom into his photo and that thing below it. It says how many murdered? Four murdered. Is that what it says? Yeah. Four murdered. That's two a ass- lot for him. Though. Hey, that's a lot for. This four. is my favorite. Yeah. yeah. Four murdered. Two two assaulted. Five attempted. Couldn't get the job done. <laughs> This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Unfortunately, Andrew, life doesn't come with a user manual. Mm. So when it's not working for you, it's normal to feel stuck. Navigating any of life's challenges can make you feel unsure, whether it's a career change in a new relationship or becoming a parent. And I'm going to tell you something right now. During the pandemic and ever since then, I've done BetterHelp. It really has made uh, me feel lighter, freer. I think therapy is very important, and I think online therapy, this is the best it gets. I love therapy, and I do think people uh, are hesitant to try it sometimes, and uh, there's no reason to be because uh, a company like BetterHelp, they got, they've connected over 3 million people with licensed therapists. These are legit therapists, and it's convenient and accessible from anywhere. My favorite part is it's 100% done online. 
You don't got to go anywhere. As the world's largest therapy service, BetterHelp has matched over 3 million people with professionally licensed and vetted therapists available 100% online. Plus, it's affordable. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to match with the therapist. If things aren't clicking, easily switch to a new therapist at any time. It couldn't be simpler. No waiting rooms, no traffic, no endless searching for the right therapist. Learn more and save 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash Bad Friends. That's BetterHelp, BetterHelp.com slash Bad Friends. Blue Chew. I'll tell you this right now, Andrew, I'm getting old. Yeah, you are. Yeah, my penis sometimes sleepy. Sometimes it goes to bed bed. Yeah, but you know what? He has, you know what his friend is? His friend is Blue Chew. Blue Chew. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the Cost. The other stuff can be expensive, and you can take these anywhere, anytime, day or night. You can plan ahead whenever uh, the opportunity arises, huh? pun intended. Boy, 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 boy. You, the process is simple. You can sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you're going to receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in the line at the pharmacy. I got to tell you, Bob, you've used BlueChew a bunch. We've talked about it on the show, and it works because uh, it gets all the blood flow down to where it needs to be to get Bobby in a happy, happy place. So if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, chew it and do it. Have better sex. We got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code BADFRIENDS at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code BADFRIENDS to receive your first month for free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. You know what? That that actually makes me proud that there are you're represented. Yeah. Why like, don't you do a biopic about this guy, Brad? I, I got, play him. I, I got to now. I didn't. Well, no, I they're going to the say he's not Hispanic. Uh, yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. I mean, the guy's from Denver. Oh yeah, that's true. That's my bad. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm from Orange County, but fuck it. Speak, well, you're a Denver fan. That's yeah, a, I'm yeah, a Denver fan. That's where I associate you. Sucks with. this year. But I yes. forgot that you're from Orange County. I forget yeah. anybody's from. Oh, there. I'm the whitest of the white. Orange yeah. County. That that is so white. It is really. It's unfortunate to me. Yeah. Do you know where Orange County is? Oh, you've never been down there. No. You would love it down there. Yeah. Why? It's all white. <laughs> yeah. It's what you love. All whitey yeah, whiteies. All white. No, all... it's. I don't no, it's all white. It's all white. <laughs> it's white, and then a lot of Asian. My high school in Orange County was fifty-eight percent Asian. What kind? Uh, mostly Korean. Oh, I meant good or bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mostly Korean down there. Yeah. But that's funny because you're San Diego. Mm. But there, I understand military kids uh, down by you mostly is what you got. Uh, you grew up with military kids, right? No. You didn't have a lot of military kids? A lot, lot of white people, but not military. God no. bless. That was more like um, <laughs> Mira Mesa, maybe. Right, right, right. Yeah. Oh, that's more. That's North Papaway, Papaway, no. But um, there was a lot of whites. A lot of whites. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of whites. And God bless. You know what I mean? And I love the whites. <laughs> great, great people. All right. Slow down. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Uh, you don't, so don't. You no, know. you guys invented electricity. It's great. <laughs> you want to get into inventions? <laughs> yeah, I'll get into inventions. What did Koreans invent? Holy shit. That's a good one. <laughs> Just put in there. I know, I know. Kim Jong-un's haircut. <laughs> All right, so Koreans invented Internet Cafe. Okay. Great one. <laughs> Be honest. Milk cartons. Dude. How how would we carry our milk if Listen not, if to this list, Koreans. you guys. Cheering balloon sticks. <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah. like changing the game. Yeah, yeah. What is it? <laughs> Rain what, gauge? No, what about the third? MP? What does it say? MP3? MP3s. Okay. Oh, that thing we never use anymore? Yeah, but we did. <laughs> yeah, What's for, the next for one? For like an hour. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'd hang your head on cheering balloon sticks. Yeah. Yeah. That's What's the last one? one? What does that say? Milk cartons. Milk and egg, egg, egg cartons. Oh, egg, egg cartons. Cart. God bless. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You've invented the wraparound TV? So, so, you know, watch your fucking tone. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just said that you guys are fucking amazing, man. I know you're being facetious. Confucius say you're being facetious. Are, are there any dwarf inventions? Besides, oh, shit. Besides, Let's the Google that. B- besides, like, devices we have to use to wipe our ass? <laughs> I was going to say, I bet you guys, by way of uh, struggling through things, have, have invented some dope shit. I mean, I've got a claw that, like, closes my uh, trunk of my car. Oh, you do? <laughs> do really? Yeah. Wait, yeah. it's not odd. Boop, boop. It no, doesn't do it. I, I, it's a 2014, and they didn't really have it. So you know what's crazy? On the, trunk of my, on the trunk of my car, yeah. they have this thing for, They've been, a lot of companies have this now, where let, let's say you have groceries in your hand, you can mm. wave your foot under the back bumper, and it'll close just by waving your foot. There's a sensor. Oh, wow. Imagine, you just oh, I would, walk right under, yeah. walk right back out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Boop, yeah. Boop. Oh, I know what you guys invented. Probably stilts. <laughs> Do you, right? Probably. You think? Hey, man. Lifts? Shoe lifts? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it, 
Got to ride those roller coasters somehow. By the way, look at this guy. Yeah. This is Carlos, our favorite. He writes, <laughs> has a dwarf invented anything? <laughs> <laughs> so condescending. Uh, so condescending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's he first more. Well, German well, folklore. Uh, oh, zoom in that. Oh, you know what? A dwarf has invented something. Uh, I, I, I do know one dwarf inventor. Uh, not necessarily an inventor, but he... All right. The map of the human body, like how like modern medicine, mm -hmm. like where the organs are and everything like that, was a dwarf. I think it was an Italian dwarf. Uh, fuck, I don't know his name. But yeah. Look at me down here. I've got the map of the body. <laughs> Is that yeah, Leonardo yeah, like da Vinci? That was it Mario? Yeah. <laughs> Really it's a me. It's a me. It I drew a map of the human body. Wait, is Mario is dwarf, right? <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, Toad is. Oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Toad definitely is. Dude, how was that guy Italian and Japanese at the exact same time? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How was Mario an Italian and Japanese dwarf? He was the first mixed race couple, that guy. Okay. <laughs> like, it's so Japanese. It's amazing. Here we go. Do they have Mario, like, in the Philippines? Yeah, we do. What, do they, what game is it? It's the racing game. What, no, what was the original game Mario was in? <laughs> this is great. It's <laughs> not Leonardo. Who made da Vinci. the first diagram of the human body? Leonardo da Vinci. He was Who Italian. Who was a dwarf? Yeah. How <laughs> tall was Leonardo da Vinci? <laughs> yeah. It's Let's not... find this out. Because you I, might why be... you lie. No, 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 no. <laughs> he might. Lying. Leonardo da Vinci was five <laughs> nine. Okay, so no, just no, out yeah. of your range. Did it, you just make that up? Or no, it, I I saw it on uh, uh, Co uh, Cosmos with Neil with Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> What does that guy know? He doesn't know anything. <laughs> that was really sad. What? You just you threw out one guy and it's not even true. <laughs> no, it is. We gotta find. Yeah, yeah. I, I I forget what he did or what he discovered or maybe it was like he did it for the dwarf body. <laughs> <laughs> oh. In Philadelphia, there's a there's a museum there called the Mudder Museum of Medical Oddities. And I went there because we go to these cities multiple times. You get to see all the stuff, and you're like, all right, I, I gotta see something different. And I and I went to that museum, and there's there's a full like dwarf skeleton right as you walked in. It was weird. Wait, just a skeleton of a dwarf? Yeah, and, and it was my type of dwarfism. So like everyone else who was there, like probably thought I was checking on my grandfather or something. Oh, <laughs> what's like, your what, what's your type? What do you happy? Mean? That would have been. What's your type? <laughs> I have. Bro, bro. I, I know. Yeah, Good. bro. <laughs> Bro, bro. Yeah, that yeah, that's it. Honey, I shrunk Brad. <laughs> Brad, what is the type of dwarfism you have? I that... have achondroplasia. Achondroplasia. It's the most common, the right? Yeah. Skeleton. <laughs> I've ever seen. Would bro. that would that skeleton even scare you if it no. was running no, after you? No, it, I, it's so cute. I literally want one. Fancy loves it. <laughs> it's like, bro, if that thing came from the grave, yeah, right, we wouldn't be scared. Boo. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. 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 Oh my God, that's the cutest thing I've ever Boom, seen. Boom, I'm going to skull you about it. Wow. Whatever dwarf uh, uh, organization is going to get us for this. this LPA. Oh, yeah. I know, right? Are LPA. They? LPA. You think the little, people, little of people of America? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. getting us. Wait, there, there is one? Yeah. yeah. What yeah. they're called? Little people of America? Yes. And do they have power? <laughs> I mean, define well, power. Like eight volts of yeah. it, maybe. <laughs> yeah. like, no, in terms of like, it's like a little they're, they're lobbying power. They have a lot of power. No. Lobbying. Okay. No. I'm not. I didn't ask that condescending. I, I'm, They've, I'm literally learning about yeah. an, an organization, organization. You know what kind of lobbying power they have? <laughs> organization. <laughs> you ever you've heard of reaching across the aisle? Yeah. It's it, that technically used to be called reaching across the aisle over the dwarfs. <laughs> is what it was. That's how yeah. rude it was. They have no lobbying power whatsoever. Look at them. Yeah. LPAs, Little People of America. Yay. Oh, wow. Make no mistake. Brad is someone we love and respect. We love We're him. just mm -hmm. having fun, LPA. Mm -hmm. His wife is beautiful. He's a great stand-up. I don't view him as anything. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds terrible. I don't view him as anything. <laughs> I don't leave. exist. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no. Maybe edit that out. I don't no, know. No, leave yeah. that in. No. That's insane. I, I, you have no, to leave that in. Real. Yes. I love you. Leave it in. Yeah, I don't yeah, view yeah. you as anything. You're yeah. like not. You're like not even a human to me. <laughs> no, yeah. you fucking fool. Come on. I will say this though, being buddies with Brad and going out to dinner with Brad <laughs> oh, yeah. in the real world. You've never eaten together, have you? No. No. I think we have. We must have. One time at the. Calusa Casino. That's oh right. God. We, ate together. We, my had, God. we had we had a dinner, and that's when I saw your penis. So Brad, exactly. Bradley and I will, will bigger, and yours is bigger. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. It's I mean, sad for me. I mean, Brad yeah. and I went out. Well, we've gone out multiple times, and yeah. and steak. And I will say this about fucking Brad. Mm -hmm. LP aside, this motherfucker. Yep. Can fucking eat. It's yeah. insane. Yeah. And then he'll go. He'll do this thing where he's like, No, 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 no. I had less. I'm smaller than you guys. Nah. 
No. The guy had more than I had, wants to pay half. That's what he says. <laughs> I pay less. I eat less. It's yeah, insane. Yeah, it makes yeah. sense. Guy gets a tomahawk steak. Yeah. Finishes the whole thing. I'm not kidding. Like 32 ounce fucking wow. steak. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't even fucking think twice. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I get a baseball filet. This guy's fucking... He's got the whole cow in front of him. It, uh, no, it's a Napoleon complex. I feel like I have to prove myself every time. You do, you fin every time we go out for steak, you finish yeah. like Can the I biggest steak Can I ask you about possible. Napoleon? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I don't know anything about I, it. I know, but I, because I've heard that before. Pretend okay. you do. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So they say Napoleon complex. So you, mm -hmm. you assume mm -hmm. that Napoleon was small? He How was. Yeah. Always, five, he was 5'6". Six. Six. Yeah. That, that's average height for, the, for, that, for that era. Yeah. Around. Right. So what's why do they say Napoleon complex? There's a... There, there's a story behind it like it was like that's how his enemies made fun of him and then that's the like that's the rumor that just spread but he you, you're, you're right he, he wasn't actually that small well they call him small man syndrome apparently he, he was a tinier man so he might have been mm -hmm. five six mm -hmm. but he wasn't like th thick at all he oh, was I see. skinny so a skinny five six is small that's quite small that's true mm -hmm. yeah yeah you know like, what I mean? like carlos <laughs> how tall are you carlos five six five Ca seven. but carlos is like uh cancer skinny Really? Right, like six Not, skinny. Right, yeah, six like skinny. some, like, yeah, yeah. like it's ba something happened. Something happened. Yeah, like, I didn't even know that. Stage four, something. You don't know how skinny you are. You're the skinniest person I've ever met in my fucking life. Are you serious? How much do you weigh? Like one thirty. Holy shit! Pounds. Yeah. That's the same me, weight. That's me in sixth grade. That's Brad. Brad's, yeah. Brad's, Brad's one hundred thirty oh, wow. pounds. I'm four four, and I'm, I'm the same weight. As you. you weigh the same as a four four man. <laughs> yeah. So okay. obvious. So yeah, He's obviously. Kidding. This you're... is a wake up call. <laughs> we'll wake up. Start beefing up, buddy. Okay. <laughs> no, you are. You've always been thin since I've known you. You've never been. You've never even been like pudgy. Yeah, I think I like I would fluctuate a little bit, but no, past, but not like. Not, are you one of those guys that and you could eat like anything and then the next day like it, you never gain weight? No, I'm actually just super strict about what I eat. Is He's it? got a eating yeah. disorder. Okay. Oh, like he doesn't? Just say it. Does he? I probably have a small one, honestly. Yeah, like you like That's very condescending. Like you feel like when you eat something <laughs> unhealthy. When you eat something unhealthy, you're like bad, Carlos. Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. like shit for That's me. not good. Bobby, do you do that? What? what do you, do you, when you eat something unhealthy, are you like bad, Bobby? No. Yeah, no. What did you just have to eat for now when we just had dinner? We had eggs, bacon, and, oh yeah, crepes. You had crepes? Yeah, with Nutella. Nutella, and you had little sausage bits. I love little sausages. And toast. Yeah, yeah. And bread. Mm -hmm. And you had some of Max's pasta. Yeah, it was good. Brad, let me ask you something. <laughs> yeah. Number one, I have two questions. Okay. Number one, um, six inches. No, I, I don't. I get it. <laughs> okay. um, I'm, I'm a believer. Okay. You're, you said you're four four. No. Yeah. Dick. No. Oh. The, yeah. Yeah. The dick. <laughs> Go on. Okay. Um, during when you were growing up, like in middle school, high school, mm -hmm. and when this time of year came about, mm -hmm. right? Were you bullied at all in in any way or it, or teased? It wasn't this time of year. It was any time of year. All year. Yeah. You were. Yeah. All year. Yeah. Like, what would be something that really scarred you? Oh jeez. Uh, well, like, but, but see, here's the thing: is I was always, and it's kind of why I'm a halfway decent comedian, is that I would literally write jokes at home, mm. and like I would write comebacks. So wow. like, when kids would make fun of me, I would like, I would l literally like do research on them and like write jokes about them, and then when they made fun of me, like I would make fun of them, and then I would have the better joke. You were made to roast. Yeah. 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 So like, there's. I mean, it, it's, it's a story in one of my specials, but it's true. There was, when I went to kindergarten, my dad had kind of told me that this was going to happen. So, like, we wrote jokes together. And and this kid, like, ran up to me in kindergarten and went, like, ha-ha, you're little. And I just said, ha-ha, your mom doesn't live with your dad anymore. <laughs> oh, I love it. Because you can go there. Yeah. And then. Yeah, go for the jugular. Yeah, I love and it. And then I grew up in Orange County, so I had about a 75% chance of giving that right. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. And then the kid cried, and I got sent to the principal's office because I had the better joke. Wow. Yeah. That's what's funny. You get sent to the principal's office when you have the better joke. Yeah. It's not. It's not who shot first. No. It's, it's who. Sh it's who, like, who, oh, who shot to kill? Yeah. I, and I shot to kill. Oh, and yeah. then, yeah. And then the principal actually called my dad at work, and then my dad answered, and then he said, like, "Well, did my son start it or did he finish it?" And then the then the principal goes, "Well, he finished it." And the, and my dad goes, "Well, I got no problem with that." Click. Oh, it was great. good, Dad. Well, you yeah. know what I love about it is that you used great yourself, dad. your defense mechanisms mm -hmm. and survival techniques. And you turned it into a career. Yeah. That's fucking amazing. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it's cool, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of like been training to be a comedian since day one. Yeah. DraftKings Sportsbook. Oh, I love betting. They're an official sports betting partner of the NFL, my friend. I love friend. the NFL. I have the 
Patriots. Bah, 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 bah. They're my go-to when betting on the NFL this season. I love it so much. Right now, everyone can earn up to 100% boost with DraftKings stepped-up game parlays. All you got to do is go to the DraftKings Sportsbook app, place a same-game parlay, combine multiple bets, like which team is going to win, which play, player props, who scores first, who has the most total points. The more legs you add, the bigger the boost, the bigger your shot to win big. I don't want to brag, but I did just win a parlay a week ago, and I won a couple of bucks, and I feel very, very good about it. It's so easy. If you want to get involved, all you got to do is download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. Use that code BADFRIENDS. Place a $5 bet on any NFL team to win their game. He's going to go with Patriots, and uh, I'll go with the Eagles because they're on fire right now, and get $150 in free bets if they do. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with code BADFRIENDS. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. Display. Oh, hey, my God. Display is a one-of-a-kind metal poster designed to capture your unique passions. And I got to tell you, they sent us a bunch of these, and these are so cool. They're nice and heavy and durable, which is beautiful. Remember as a kid, you would have posters? Yeah. And they would always rip apart and yeah. fall apart and stuff? I wish I had this. Look at, in the back, you just put these how against beautiful. the wall. and yeah. you, It's a magnet, and you just push it on the wall. It's easy. And look at how nice this is. It's never going to get bent or crusted up, or the corners are never going to get all cut up. And they sent us a bunch of these. Bobby immediately wanted this one. Um, and I got to tell you, they have both branded and artistic artwork. They have over a million designs available for everybody. Mm -hmm. They got Marvel, DC, Star Wars, NASA... Uh, all sorts of stuff on there, games and movies. You can find anything that you're looking for on display right now, especially e our stuff. Each product is highly quality design, printed on metal in Europe, ooh, ooh. and signed by the, their master of production. Wow. wow. Right on the back there, it's signed. You can see right there. Look. They're also eco-friendly, Andrew. For every design sold, they are planting one tree. Whoa. Whoa. Leo would like that. I think that's awesome. Yeah. And right now, Display is having the biggest discount ever. One to two disc plates, 20% off. Three or more disc plates, 30% off. Use the link in the description. This discount is applied automatically at the checkout. Or go to displate.com slash badfriends. That's D-I-S-P-L-A-T-E dot com slash badfriends. Use the code BADFRIENDS at the checkout. Displate. Collect, collect your, your passions. passions. But what yeah. is Williams? Are you Irish? Uh, I, it's like, I'm a hodgepodge of a bunch of different things. It's like Dutch, Welch, By the way, German. hodgepodge is a great new name for little people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really See is. See that gaggle of hodgepodges over there? <laughs> the gaggle? <laughs> <laughs> What is a group? What is a group of dwarves called? Oh, minions, right? <laughs> <laughs> Insane. We'll never not bring it back. I can't do better than that joke. That's pretty good. What's a group of five, What's a group of redheaded called? Oh, you're called a knot of dwarves. A knot. A knot. K N O T. Yeah, that doesn't. I don't like that. Well, you tie them together if they get out of control. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> That's Jesus what they mean. Right. <laughs> yes, Jesus and then, what do you and, call a group of redheads? And then when one, Brad, you're and then quick when one escapes, it's a slipknot. Uh, okay. <laughs> What's uh, a group of redheads, Brad? A rutophilia? A rutophilia. <laughs> the technical term for the fetish of redheads is rutophilia. Oh, that's a fetish. A ginger fetish. Oh, yeah. So, but there goes a bunch of rudies. Is there an Asian fetish? Is that even a real fucking question? It's, the, yeah, it's called, it's called, called the, the internet. internet. No, yeah. Asian male fetish. It's called the internet. No, yeah. women. No. Uh, Asian women are fetishized, but not Asian men. Well, because you guys aren't you guys aren't at the thing. You're not. No, what is the thing? <laughs> Fucking. What's it called? A large group of Asian people. What are they called? <laughs> a noodle of Asians. <laughs> <laughs> Like a pride wait, wait, line. You gotta be fucking kidding me. A noodle of Asians. We already clicked on it before, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's not a sushi boat of Asians? Yeah. Well, you know, that it does make sense because you guys are all layered on top of each other when you're together. <laughs> a noodle of Asians. Like a pride of lions or a litter of kittens. <laughs> I love how it gives you practical use of it. I couldn't take a photo of that statue because there was a noodle of Asians all around it. It's, it's insane that somebody wrote that on the internet. <laughs> The internet is so fucking insane. Yeah. It's insane. You know what's offensive to that about it is, is that you know rice mm -hmm. and noodles are always associated with Asians, but there's so many cultures that use those things. Like, Not as good as you guys. Yeah. What do you mean? But you we do it the best. It. Yeah. You're you by far. You said we do rice the best. Uh, yes. Yeah. I agree. Yes. Yes. Oh, so you've been to like a, a restaurant? Like, go to a fucking white person's house. The rice is gonna be shit. It's mm. gonna be shit rice. Right. You go to an Asian. Can your wife make some fucking bomb ass rice? Fuck yeah. Different story, dude. Way different you story. You don't know, man. You go to a white. What about noodles, though? We can't. Whites don't it's do Italians noodles. Italians do it? That's spaghetti. That's different. That's, that's not a noodle. Pasta. Pasta. But yeah. is, is, is a noodle pasta? Are they two different things? Two different things. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's the difference? Italians don't make noodles. They make pasta. You guys make noodles. Right. Yeah. Oh, so you never go, can I get a, uh, noodles with meatballs? 
No, no. you say no. no. Oh, you never say that. No, you say spaghetti with meatballs. Oh, all right. You're right. <laughs> like an adult. That. Noodles are usually made with flour milled from common wheat. Pasta is processed from durum semolina, sal, se, se, semolina, which is coarser. Salmonella. Than typical, that, that, no, no, that semolina, is, yeah, which salmonella. is coarser than typical flour. Okay. So big difference. I, I stand correct. You make noodles. We make pasta. Okay. Olive mm. Garden. <laughs> right. That's their slogan. What do you prefer, Brad? Noodles or pasta? <laughs> noodles. Fuck yeah, man. I, I would have said pasta eight years ago, but then I met my wife, and then she made noodles the right way. Oof, and, right. I, and I'm just like, oh, this is way better. Pasta for me, 100%. What do you say? Throw some fur and 100% on there. pasta. pasta. All right, pasta. in a hot... So fuck you guys. In a cold <laughs> winter day, I'm going to ask the, the room. Cold winter day, right? Would just, you rather have a bowl of spaghetti... Like we have right now in su in, su in Southern California, cold winter day, fifty eight degrees. A yeah, cold, <laughs> yeah, chilly winter day. Or would you rather have a nice <sighs> bowl of ramen? I had. By the way, you're you're relegating it just to spaghetti. I had fettuccine with short rib last night. So you can go fuck yourself with that bowl of ramen. <laughs> in fact, we actually said, "Do you want ramen?" Me and the old lady said, "Do you want ramen?" I said, "What if we get that place that we really love and get some fettuccine with some short rib?" And All some right. of that fucking okay. olive bread. All right. Oh. Come on. I guess <laughs> what happened I, today? How about you? What happened today when you ripped that when I ripped that bread and I dipped it in Fred's pasta? What'd you say? <laughs> don't make me say it. Say it. <laughs> it was good. So fucking good. <laughs> because I don't want any bread. I ripped the bread in half. I dipped some of the pasta sauce. I put it on his plate. He you was, can enjoy both. <clears throat> nah, we're superior. <laughs> <laughs> pasta over noodles. Look, there's other things that that we can't. But we do. have udon too. That's a good thing. Udon's fine. Not as yeah. good. I, ramen over udon. What about pho? Pho is so bullshit. What? Whoa. <laughs> Nobody likes pho. By the way. You're getting canceled. Pho, right pho now. is the same fat. Pho is like pink berry. Everybody was like, whoa. <laughs> and then like a year later, everyone was like, fuck this shit. This stinks. Pho is whack. There's no flavor profile. Now, glass, see, glass noodles are whack. See, here's my thing about pho. You can't go get it at a place that has a funny name. They all have fucking weird no, names. No. You just got to go to a place that says pho. Yeah, if that if that if that's all it says, it's good. But if the name of their restaurant is Fabulous, go pho yourself or yeah. whatever the hell. Nah, it's not going to be good. There. The proof in the pudding is that pho has not lasted culturally longer than it thought it was going to. It mm. thought it was going to keep humming along. You don't like crafty names. I like crafty names. <laughs> the comedian in in me likes it. Yeah, but the in my. In my experience, the food is better at the place. Like, no, we don't have time. But for is that psychological? Names. Like this guy, you know what I mean? But yeah. let me let me say this. Okay. What do people do to you? We've actually, you and I have had this personal conversation for real. When people, what what's the thing that people do the most? Like at a restaurant when you go, that bothers you the most. That's something they treat you like. Oh Jesus! Or what they say uh, to you. Uh, uh, someone always makes the joke. Uh, Kids menu, yeah. Kids menu. They they, they always make that joke. Booster like, seat. You yeah. said one time. Yeah. Or, and then uh, your friends make that joke. No, I'm just talking like about ignorant people. 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 Just like people in general. That and like once you become known as a comedian, one one day you'll get there, Bobby. One one Whoa! once you become known. No, I love you. I love you, Bobby. I'm gonna let him have it. Okay, please yeah. do. Um, <laughs> but like once you become known as a comedian, people just. People, when they meet you, just think they can automatically get to that level of, okay, yeah. we're joking with you. So, like, I've had the thing where, like, the host of the restaurant recognizes me and then, like, looks at the group of four and goes, so, three and a half? Oh, my God. Like, oh. and, 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 and you're just like, you son of a bitch. That's try insane. That's so it. insane try to, to every nice day deal night with night that out. fucking bullshit. You told me one time a guy said to yeah. you, you were getting, I think it was outside of Ray's old place, and you were getting in your car. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where it was. And a guy said to you, you need help getting in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's God. Like, no. What? Like get in the car. Would you ever fucking have the, like, why would you ever go up to someone and say that? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> no, you would? I don't know. <laughs> you would never help. No, I was just thinking about something else. Sorry, that made me laugh. Say it. <laughs> I can't. Say it. And I really mean it, though. Go ahead. I'm about to say. <laughs> Please. Okay. Dude, we should invite him to Magic Mountain so he can hold our stuff while we're on the road. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, because the wall and stuff, like he could be that guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm your own locker. You're my locker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys want to rent a locker? You've we never been we there. Brought one. Oh, I, oh, I've been. There's like, there's four rides I can't ride because I'm. Which one of the four you can't? Okay, X2. No, I can ride X2. You can? Yeah, that's a uh, that's 48 inches. It, it's the ones that are 52 inch or 54 inch. I'll tell you what's fucking bullshit. Height requirement. Let me make a statement right now yeah. that I stand by. Good. The fact that you're born with this. Yeah. You, it is unhelpable. All yeah. right. It is something that you, you cannot control. Right. And they haven't fucking rigged a way to make a seat mechanism so you can ride the ride as an adult 
it pisses me off because you get on a fucking airplane, you can ask for nine seatbelt extensions, something they can help yeah. a lot more than you. I'm not saying yeah. all of them, but they can help that out a lot more than you can. Yeah, but right. you're just fucked? You're yeah, fucked? And, and the even more fucked up part about it is the type of dwarfism I have. My torso is average size. Yeah. So they're making this judgment based on, well, if you're 52, like your torso is smaller. Because like, your torso is puny because you're skinny as shit. Yeah, you don't yeah, have a big right. You could okay. slip. He got slipped right out of a ride. Yeah, yeah, that's true. yeah. He like he can do it, but then like most people, uh, when <laughs> like I go to the barber chair or I go to a restaurant, they go, "Oh, do you need a booster seat?" And I go, "No, fucker." And then I sit down and I'm just as tall as everybody. Right, because your torso's long. Yeah, you saw my legs kick out and you laughed. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it again because he's gonna he's gonna keep looking at it. No, I, no he got to do it again. <laughs> that wasn't it. When you fart, does your legs go up like that? <laughs> <laughs> imagine stop, stop, imagine stop. when he shits when you shit on the toilet stop, stop. how fun would that be <laughs> every time I shit I shit oh god a, it, I'm just saying I'm gonna stand by what I said I yeah. think if they're gonna make exception for people that are overweight and they say well it's, it's a it's a condition for them health they can't fi that's you know they can't help it mm -hmm. it's like well then you can't help yeah. this disability why isn't there a functioning thing that makes it so you could ride rides and do all that shit yeah you I do mean, that with your car you show me your car yeah is it's all tricked out the, the, the weird part is when, like, so I've been to a public bathroom before where, like, all the toilets are high, but then they have the handicapped toilet on the side. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to go to the handicapped toilet. I didn't realize that the handicapped toilets a lot of the times are higher. Yeah. But they just have the bars. Right. So now I'm doing, like, a gymnast routine. <laughs> so I'm like, <laughs> back myself up onto the toilet. That's yeah. Assholes. Yeah. I mean, the, yeah. The, yeah. When I get into a hotel shower... The amount, the amount of times I've had to like Cirque de Mige up the wall to like make the spout actually oh, point wow. down. Oh, that must be a thing. Yeah, because no, because sometimes I turn on the water and it's just hitting the back wall, and I'm like, I got nothing. So how do you get up there? You get a chair in there or something? It's I've, fucked up. I've literally called the front desk and had them send somebody up. No. And like lower the shower head because I'm like, I can't take a shower. Fuck you. And I, I don't want to. I don't want to die. Trying to climb up there yeah. and oh. then slip. How'd Brad die? Well, the shower wasn't You're right. You're not going to believe this. Yeah. yeah. But if I read that on deadline, though, well, we're, we do 20, I'd be we, so sad. We do 20 minutes so on this show yeah, about I'd it. Yeah. I'd be so sad. All, and it, it, it's strange you say that. I think about that shit all the time. Like, there are so many ways for me to die, and it's hilarious. Like, just because I'm a little person? Yeah, like, that, give me an example. Oh. <laughs> Car crash? No, no, oh, no, that's no, not no, funny. That's, that's not funny. That's no, sad. they will. They'll, 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 they'll type something like, "Yeah, the truck ran over the Mini Cooper." Like, oh, like yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. like I, falling or, off a ladder, like a. Or, or if yeah. you died on the four or five, your body ends up on the five. <laughs> you gotta hit that far. Yeah. A little person Local thrown over joke. the interchange. <laughs> but yeah, what, it's what's... like there, there's like, uh, unless it's like old age or of a disease in the bed like like that's the only way it's not funny if 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 i die any other way it's funny tell me this has there ever been a dwarf uh pro athlete i mean come on man what i'm being serious <laughs> that's crazy okay Why? there there was a guy named scaramonalu i can't spell that what's his name scaramonalu is he the guy that uh, drew, drew the first uh, anatomy of a body <laughs> <laughs> turkish weightlifter See, I told you there was going to be. There's one. Yeah. To Google dwarf pro athletes, because there's got to be more than one. Yeah. And by the way, do you do you, do do most LPs does do not like LP anymore? Is that gone? Is it dwarf now? What's the preferred little person in LP or like the two? Like you're you're safe. You're, LP is. Yeah, right. you're absolutely so safe. A dwarf, I thought, is safe now. No. Yeah, uh, like. Uh, Unless they don't have dwarfism, not all of them have dwarfism. Yes. Oh yes, Eddie Goodell. Yes, Eddie Goodell. Yes, yeah, a professional uh, baseball player. I, rem I remember him. Had wait, one at bat. Yep. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This is real. That's a real photo. Yeah. There's no way. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes, That's it is. That's a real is. photo. Ed, uh, Eddie, Eddie Goodell. Goodell. Yeah. Played, uh, had one at bat. St. Louis Browns doubleheader. 1951, mm -hmm. weighing 60 pounds, standing three feet, seven inches tall. Just so we can walk. Isn't wait, wait, that wait. crazy? Wait. They brought he him was... into a baseball game so, he, so we could get a walk. Let me tell you, zoom into what Louis Browns owner Bill Vex said. Uh, zoom Boy. in right there. As in Rex said of Goodell. He was, by golly, the best damn midget that ever played the big league ball. He was he was also the only one. <laughs> I love that he threw in a by golly. But by was, it, was it like a Rudy situation where, like, let him play one game? <laughs> yeah, essentially. Born essentially. in Chicago, by the way. Died in Chicago, my man.
<laughs> I want Rudy to try to be a part of the show right now. Okay, gotcha. Why don't you talk to Brad and ask some questions and say hi? And, and... be honest about because you don't, you've only seen them in the tuk tuks. <laughs> Tuk tuks. Or whatever that thing that you draw. It <laughs> doesn't have to be about Brad being a dwarf. You can just talk Jiminy. to Brad and say hi. Right, so just ask any questions. About life. Be a part yeah. of the show again. Okay. Hi, Brad. Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you in, per in person, finally. It's good so far. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to know how you met your wife. I'm curious. Love this. I love it. <laughs> about seven years ago, I, I decided to take a brief hiatus from stand-up comedy. I got offered a morning radio show in San Francisco, California, and I had to move there to do the show. So I, I moved there, and uh, we were doing the show, and me and two, two other people who are now down here in L.A., uh, Kevin Klein and Allie, they are now on K-Rock, but I was doing a show with them. And uh, I didn't know anybody because I had to move to San Francisco. And we, in, in order to meet people, we decided to play a game called Tinder or Grinder. Every day, I would flip a coin. Based on what it lands on, I have to go on either a Tinder date or a Grinder date. It's insane. It's insane. <laughs> awesome. And that and that was to meet people. First day, I flipped the coin. It landed on Grinder. Oh. And I made and I made a profile. And I met, <laughs> this is so great that I'm on this podcast telling the story. I made a profile and I immediately matched up with a very large, redheaded, bearded man who told me to only refer to him as Ginger Bear. We've been friends for seven years. <laughs> you think it's a fucking coincidence? Yep. He's Ginger Bear, I'm Gummy Bear. <laughs> Let's do this shit. So, Side note, mm -hmm. if I was on that radio staff, yeah. I would have waited that coin so you got the grinder side every fucking time. <laughs> every time. Go ahead, though. So you're flipping a coin. Yeah, so I went on the date with Ginger Bear. It was a great date. Uh, gave me a lot of sympathy for women because I had no sexual interest in this man whatsoever, but at the end of the night, I kind of felt like I owed him something. <laughs> You give him a little tug? Um, yeah, well, you don't make eye contact. Yeah, you just look the yeah, other way. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. So, but the next day, we're like, all right, we're going to play Tinder or Grinder again. And then a listener called in and said, yeah, you guys are doing Tinder or Grinder. You, you should try Thrinder. And we're like, what's Thrinder? And they're like, oh, that's Tinder for people trying to have threesomes. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, I'm in. And just so you know, I'm not lying. Uh, Tinder sued them for copyright infringement. The app is no longer called thrinder it's called field f-e-e-l-d mm -hmm. you're welcome so <laughs> i i go on the app i match with two women we're all going to go on a date together one of the women does not show up for whatever reason i went on a date with just the other one and two years after that date i proposed to that woman because when you find a hot asian that is into three ways you lock that shit down <laughs> yeah. so have you ever tried a threesome yeah that's how he met his fucking yeah. wife you think you she still wasn't do it Yes. Yeah, it's not every day. It's not every week. It's not in every month, but every now and then. It's great. That's <laughs> cool. That's great. Yeah. With another girl. Yes. Oh, yes. Well, never a guy. Another not, guy. Never a guy. I've, I've, I've been invited over. <laughs> <laughs> she likes you, Andrew. I've been invited over. You're very cute. No, but this guy, by the way, when 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 we went bowling, uh, when we were in that bowling league at the fucking Roosevelt, or yeah, yeah. His wife came one time, mm -hmm. and you guys brought a girl, right? Or she was meeting you guys there or something like that? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, okay, right. I love right it. on. Right on. Anyway, yes. Hey, Nicole. Yeah, they do. <laughs> That's incredible. They're fucking party I animals, it. dude. I love it. Yeah, and uh, and it's a lot of fun because uh, when people – and we're very successful when we try to do that kind of thing because when people see a, a, a hot Asian and a dwarf, I mean – You're clicking. I'm yeah. clicking. That's everything on the bucket list. <laughs> like you can't. Yeah. It literally, it's three for three. It's you have a dwarf, you have an Asian woman, and it's a threesome. It's yeah. the three things that people are looking for. Yeah. I want to fuck two other people. <laughs> One's got one could be a dwarf would be neat. Yeah. And an Asian woman. Yeah. It's it. It's, it's great. It's funny when I watch fucking Grand Slam some porn. I mm. always sometimes every once in a while I'll experiment <laughs> and I'll, I'll look up Asian, uh, not Asian, um, dwarf man. Mm, right, mm, mm. and whenever I can find a dwarf man with, you know, just one guy jerking off. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 a dwarf yeah. man making love to a woman. Okay. Right, right. It's, it's, it's something about it. I just, it's, it really does it for me. What do you think it is? I, I think maybe I relate to the dwarf man. I don't know what it is. <laughs> you see yourself? I think I see myself in him, but I like that. Be back to Rudy. Go ahead. So yeah, that's how I met my wife. Okay, next question. <laughs> so good at this. <laughs> I don't know. You're um, doing good. I'm serious. No, you do great. The First question was a banger. Yeah, you're good. Um, don't be shy. Whatever comes to whatever mind. comes to mind. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's no limit. There's no no holds barred here. No wrong answers. Have you tried? <laughs> <laughs> Go. D a dating app that that's only for 
Little people. No, that's a good question. That that's, that's a, a good question. question. That's a good question. I have not tried it, but there is one. What's it called? What's it called? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let's guess. <laughs> Give us a chance. <laughs> a chance yeah. over here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All the moment he was like, what's I, it called? I, I don't know if it's I got still one. I don't know <laughs> if it's still there. I got one. Okay. okay. What's yeah. it called? Fumble. <laughs> <laughs> is, it called, is it called Fumble? Oh my God. <laughs> Bobby, I, Bobby, I take back every bad thing I've ever said about you. That was the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. Oh my that fucking awesome. God. Yeah. If Fumble is not if, fucking, if, if that's not a publicly <laughs> traded company soon, <laughs> Thumble is so good, Bob. That's yeah. so great. Wow. Thumble. Yeah. Thumble. Yeah. That that is right that is right up there. Okay. You know, um, <laughs> Bobby, did you ever do the uh, uh did you ever do the Opie and Anthony show? Yeah. Okay, so million times. Anthony. One time I was on the show. Yeah. And <laughs> they asked me if any dwarves get mad at me because I do stand up and I say the word midget and stuff like that. Yeah. And Anthony stops and goes, yeah, does anyone call you an Uncle Tom Thumb? <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. And, really and good. you're right up there with Thumble. <laughs> yeah, 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 that, yeah, yeah, That's, that's yeah, yeah. right there, God man. Damn. That's great, Bobby. You well, still say well the, the M word? Yeah. But I but but I say all I say all of it. I say dwarf, short stature, LP, little person. But I thought dwarf is okay. Yeah, it but is. But M is not okay. M is not okay for a lot for a lot of people. I would say most don't like you to say M. Yeah, but see, for me, it's all about the context and how you're using it. Because, and I told this story on Marin, so I apologize if you're hearing it for a second time. But when I I did a show in Odessa, Texas, and there was a there was a heckler, and we had to kick him out. And at the at the end of the night, show's done. Uh, I'm walking to the car with this with, with this other comedian, and we see the these we see these lights turn on, and it's a truck, and oh my god, they, they start driving towards us, and some guy leans out the window and just yells out, "Kill the dwarf!" He said, "Kill the dwarf!" Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ! So I wasn't like, "Oh, thank you for using the proper term." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, Rudy, go ahead. More questions for Brad. Um, I know you've got them lined up. Yeah. Okay, do you? Poo every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how do you think wait, they make? Wait, 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 wait. Time, uh, time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. I don't know. Wait, how do you think we oh got these God. things in yeah. here? <laughs> <laughs> so good. Yes. <laughs> Reese's pieces. <laughs> Yeah, where the fuck do you think these things yeah. came from? The North Pole, you fucking but, idiot. But think about that question, right? She equates size with do you, of bowel do movements. Do you poo every day? Yeah, every do you that's day. insane. Every day? So you yes. think that the f food goes through the body? And it, no, because no, I don't poo every day. <laughs> you, you I would just want to know. You would think that he would poo more often. <laughs> Yeah, because it's a shorter way to shorter. Shorter, so, uh, yeah. That's why yeah. I'm asking. Yeah. No, but that's not what you're asking. You were asking as if, like, do they poo every other day? No, just him. Because <laughs> I don't poo every day. Yeah, so do you poo every day? <laughs> yeah. Or you would have asked, how many times a day do you poo? <laughs> right? So I don't think that was the question. Anyway. No, no, no. Though. Let her. It's fine. Okay, go it's ahead. her question. Let her, let her dig out of this. So yeah. I'll ask it again? <laughs> Whatever you want. Well, <laughs> yes. Uh, 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 so to answer your question. Yes. I have a bowel movement every day. And thank God. And I don't even know if they're a sponsor of this show. If not, they should sponsor me just in general. Who? My tour should be sponsored by these people. Squatty Potty. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Love me a Squatty Potty. What's yeah, a Squatty Potty? You, what do you mean? They used to sponsor basically, the show. Basically, your, your legs are on the toilet. Yeah. Your legs are on that little thing. We used to, we, they used to sponsor the show. It's what this Apple box is, but while you're <laughs> shitting. Oh wow! And it's designed you, you, to go. Seen this oh yeah, yeah, I've seen those. They used yeah. to sponsor our show. Didn't yeah, they? yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it, it's an amazing product. Yeah, I it's great. I love it. And please sponsor my tour. Squatty it's, it it, uh, it it straightens out your intestines. You know they say your intestines, if you ra if you unravel them, would wrap around the earth multiple times. Do you know that? What? My own intestines would wrap around the earth? Yeah, multiple. I think it's twice or something like that. It's something yeah. insane. Do you ever see... Uh, That's the, not true. The, <laughs> look, Google it right now. Prove that a, I'm right. A one human being's Google intestines right. will travel around the world. Your intestines can wrap around the earth. If they're, when they're unwound. If, uh, veins. Oh, it's maybe it's maybe it's vascular. It's something that can wrap around the fucking earth. I forget what it is. Uh, your blood vessels can stretch around the earth twice. Two times. Your blood vessels... There's so many blood vessels. They say six. That's insane. No, no. It says it, it cannot stretch oh, around... Oh, twice. Things. Your blood vessels can stretch around the earth twice. 
Brad's construction on a basketball b- twice. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. It's not even funny. Fun. All right, okay. go. One more question, one Rudy. More question. Come on, make it count. And yeah. Make it count. Do make you, it count. I don't know. I don't know. Do, do you poo every day? My, it might have been one of the best ones yeah, we've yeah, had. Yeah, yeah. Be the let's, try, let's try one more. But you know okay. she's got another one oh, yeah. rattling um, around that brain of hers. So much creative energy. Um... You ever looked at a oh. dwarf and okay, go yeah, go, ahead. Yeah, yeah, go. Have you met Peter Dinklage? Ah, uh, we call him King Dwarf. Uh, <laughs> he rules. Uh, I I have not met him. He he refuses to go to the meetings. Uh, <laughs> bastard. Uh, he tried to take the dwarves out of the new Snow White movie. Did he really? Really? Yeah. Well, that was the thing he said on Marin. That he was like, oh, we're, they're they're redoing, they're they're doing a live action Snow White. And uh, and they they like made Snow White a Latina, which is great, makes sense. And then they Snow, had a, Snow Brown, yeah. And then uh, he said like, yeah, but they're still having, they're 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 trying to make this woke Snow White, but they're still having the dwarves in it. You know what made me mad? What, 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 see, that doesn't make any sense. The dwarves are people. Why wouldn't they still be in it? It was just about a girl and her friends. Yeah. So this bitch liked dwarves. Yeah. Would be made into a live action film. Disney said Tuesday it was consulting with members of the dwarfism community. Well, who are these members? Yeah, were they at the meeting? Where's like do do we have? Do you got to be in that movie? Where's the dwarf Al? Which one are you, Sleepy? Which one are you? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see the dwarf Al Sharpton. Dude, if you <laughs> don't, our guy? if you don't get in that fucking movie, we're yeah. gonna protest. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You got you're in the. How many are there? Dwarves in the world? In the no, in the Snow Whites. Seven. seven. There's seven dwarves, Fucking right? Shit, it's in the title. If you're not in the se- top seven, you got to be in the top seven. I mean, yeah. Dinklage. Well, who would he one be? Would Let's assume. see which one. Would you be? You you wouldn't be bashful. Uh, no. You wouldn't either be grumpy. Dopey? You wouldn't be grumpy or sleepy. No. Dopey. You'd be either dopey I'd or what's dopey. the other one? Come on, go over. All right, happy, sleepy, dopey. Happy. Do- dopey. Dog. Sneezy. Bashful. Sneezy. sneezy could, you could be sneezy. No, be sneezy. No. no, I don't like that. Few more. Doc. Yeah, Doc. You could be Doc. Oh, you could be Doc. You could be Doc. You could be Doc. Okay. You could be Doc. <laughs> and of course, Bobby will be the huntsman. Yeah. yeah. Let me be the magic mirror. A month ago, I got an audition. Or two months ago, I got an audition for Time Bandits. <laughs> They're redoing Time Bandits? Da- yeah. Time Bandits? And who was doing it is... um. Anyway, um, and I said no. You said no? Why? Yeah, because they may wanted me to read for... Oh, the dwarf part. Yeah, but they're not using dwarf parts now. Son of a bitch. Does that suck? Yeah, yeah. they're they're like Th- those are the time bandits. Yeah, well, because I well, and Taika's doing it. Yeah, that's right. You said that. Taika's, yeah, Taika's doing, it. doing it, and um, I go, I, there's no way I can't. Oh, Taika Waititi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're well, and th- this is real. I was in an audition right right before the lockdown happened, uh, back when we still did in person auditions, and I think I did okay for the part, and then they looked at me and said, just so just so you know, so you don't get your hopes up, we're really looking for a minority hire. Wow, and Whoa. and I just looked at him like, yeah, yeah, because it wasn't a dwarf part. Yeah, it was like, just a part. You got, and they're like, I'm oh, your guy. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, the, there you go. Uh, I'm the only one that still has a separate drinking fountain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you, would you consider he would can be considered what a minority? Com- what comes out of those Kool Aid? What comes out of yours? Frosting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How many dwarfs are there in the world? By the way, let me see the oh, dwarf man. world population. Dwarf oh. world population. Yeah. How many dwarfs do you think? Stop before he ghouls. How many dwarfs do you think are in the world? Well, because I think you might. That I'm you're doing, right. I'm doing quick math. It's one in every thirty-six thousand. One in every thirty-six thousand. Yeah. And then there's you know eight billion people. I can't do that math in my head. <laughs> uh, let Let's go with uh, uh, eight hundred thousand little people. Come Can I on. ask you a side note? Aside from this fucking, we were talking about little people. Why does yeah. Adam Ray not like me? Adam Ray loves you. I was not invited to his wedding. <clears throat> well, yeah, you were. I was. You were. Yeah, but why would you? Uh, Six hundred fifty-one thousand, Brad. You're pretty close. Wow. Wow. Well, yeah, because I sensed it. That's pretty good, right? <laughs> you guys know where you are. How many redheaded people are there in the world? Six hundred fifty-one thousand. Well, the entire country of Ireland. How many redheaded people in the world? Google that population. I bet there's only like a million. I bet it's not that many more than you. Mm. What does it say? Mm. One to two percent of the human population. Okay, so that's that's more than six hundred thousand. Se- yeah, seventy Hundred- million. 70 million. Mm-hmm. 7,240. Well, that's a big gap. That's the problem because they don't fucking know. Yeah. Because they don't, because most of us stay in hiding. <laughs> a lot of us don't come out. <laughs> you have stuff in your stockings, too. If oh, you really? Check okay. That so out. let's, oh, hold on. We, we'll uh, hmm. come over. Okay, that's fine. Uh, did you guys get Brad a stocking as a guest? No, I got uh, YouTube. 
Where's my, where's the stocking? It's right here. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. I didn't even... Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So for A for Andrew. Yeah, and then B for Bobby. And B for Bobby. Thank you. B for Thank Bobo. You. Thank you. Oh, wow. Look at this. What's that? Andrew on the <laughs> North Pole Express. Look at this sweet book that I got. What did you get, Bob? Is what is that? What is that, buddy? Is that a butt plug? What is? What the fuck is this? It's coal. <laughs> did somebody get coal in their stocking because they were a bad oh, boy this year? Oh, Bobby was bad. Can I read you this? Book? Don't keep doing it, Bobby. <laughs> Don't keep putting your hand in there. Andrew sees a present wrapped neatly with a bow. The label has a name and the wrapping seems to glow. The present is for me, cries Andrew with the biggest grin. Andrew opens it to look inside and suddenly falls in. <gasps> Andrew's in the frosty woods looking at blue skies to find a world inside a box. Such a big surprise. The signpost on the trail shows which way to go. Santa's house, Andrew says in awe, then runs through the sparkly snow. Andrew spots a village and a family up ahead. Andrew grasps and can't believe they're made of gingerbread. The daddy smells at Andrew. You want to see Santa's house, I guess? You'll get there so much quicker on the North Pole Express. Now get in my van and I've got some treats. <laughs> Take off your clothes. Let me warm your feet. Put them in between my comfy butt cheeks. Now give me a kiss. Off we go. Sit on my lap. It's now your seat. What is this? <laughs> a Jeffrey Epstein Christmas? <laughs> what? What is this? It's a Christmas book uh, from Target on Sunset. Kiss me, little Andrew. Kiss me right here. Don't bother if it cries. That's not actually a tear. Wow. What is this? I mean, this was at the checkout aisle. You'll be okay. Just keep your mouth closed. Open, of course, right now. And now take off those clothes. Wow. wow. Chugga chugga choo choo in your poo poo. <laughs> Does that say that in there? No. Oh. It's made all, it's made it all that like shit up. Lyrics from the Bank of Boys. It's made all that shit up. But also, <laughs> chugga chugga choo choo in your poop. <laughs> By the way, uh, for all. <laughs> so good. For all, for all the fans of the show, when Andrew starts reading the book, I, isolate the clip. No, no, no. no. When Bobby's... Andrew starts reading the book, he's pissed off. And just look at Bobby and, so, and someone put the song, Hello, Darkness, <laughs> My Old Friend. Uh, Bobby got put cold and he's upset about it. So, Bobby, say goodbye properly to our guest and say thank, thank you, you for th being here. Thank you, Brad. Thanks for being here. Well, Tata, be honest with him. I'm being real. I really want to. No, okay, okay, let's go real. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I, um, I've always loved you. I think you're a beast. And I think that, um, you know, it was a real surprise because I knew you were coming today. It was a blessing. Thanks, Merry buddy. Christmas to you. It's a Christmas miracle. It's your Christmas miracle. Happy Hanukkah. And happy Hanukkah. Yeah. Kanye. Happy Hanukkah, Kanye. Kanye. Yeah. And then... Um, <laughs> Kyrie. And thank you yeah. for being a bad friend. Thank you for being a bad friend. I love being uh, a bad friend. Let's have uh, Rudy say it and then Brad say it. Thank you for being a bad friend. Thank you for being a bad friend. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs>